Okay, um, this video is part three in our Taylor series and binomial expansion series. And in the last video, we had considered this expression that we had derived uh, a couple of videos ago, that if a function can be expressed in terms of a power series, it has to take on this form and then what we did in the last video was saying, well, okay, if this is the general expression of a power series for a function, what happens then if the function is equal to a plus x to the n? And we found out that this term here is just a to the n. This term here was n times a to the n minus 1. This term here was n, let's move this up a little bit. This term here is n times n minus 1 times a to the n minus 2. And it continues on like that. We get a pattern where for each successive term, for example, the next one would be n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times a to the n minus 3 power. And the next term, which would be this one here, is n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3. And now a is to the n minus 4 power. And it continues on in that pattern. Here we're taking the nth power here. Our exponent is n. When we take the nth derivative, we get simply n factorial. So what we're going to do now is, with these expressions that we derived, is go ahead and plug them in the formula and see what kind of expression we get for a plus x to the n that we're going to do right now. So using this formula and what we derived in the last video, what we're going to find is that a plus x to the n equals f of 0, and that's just a to the n, plus the first derivative of x evaluated at 0, and that's just n times a to the n minus 1. times x plus the next term is the second derivative evaluated at 0. That's this term right here. So now we have n times n minus 1 divided by 2 factorial times a to the n minus 2 times x squared plus this term, that is this right here, n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times a to the n minus 3 power. So let's write it in. Times a to the n minus 3 and this is divided by 3 factorial times x cubed plus this term is, make sure we keep everything in focus, okay, this term is now n, you can see the pattern, times n minus 3 divided by 4 factorial times a to the n minus 4 times x to the fourth. And it keeps going like this 
until we reach this term here, where all we get now is just n factorial. So now we have n factorial. That's what this expression is. We derived that in the last video, divided by n factorial times x to the n. So here we have a plus x to the n power, and we've expressed it now in a power series, specifically the, uh, the Taylor expansion series. And this is the expression that we get. This is just 1. So let's just take it out. So notice we start with a to the n, that's our first term. Our last term is x to the n. No surprise, right? Now here we have these intervening, these intermediate terms here. But look how the pattern is going already. This is a to the nth power. And the next term we have a to the n minus 1 times x to the first power. And the next term, this exponent decreases by 1. This exponent here increases by 1. And it keeps following that pattern, just as we saw when we first introduced the binomial expansion series. But now, what about these coefficients here? Here we have this. Here we have this. And they're going to continue along with this same pattern. So let's take a look. Here we have n times n minus 1 divided by 2 factorial. OK. Well, what happens if we have this? What is this equal to? That is equal to n factorial divided by 2 factorial times n minus 2 factorial. And this is equal to n in the numerator times n minus 1. And then the rest of the terms we can simply express as n minus 2 factorial. In the previous videos we had a good workout with permutations, so this should be nothing new for you, hopefully. Down here in the numerator, we have 2 factorial times n minus 2 factorial. These cancel. And look at the kind of expression that we get. n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial. That is this right here. So this is the same as the binomial coefficient n over 2. OK, let's take a look at this term here. If we have this binomial coefficient, That's equal to n factorial divided by 3 factorial times n minus 3 factorial. In the numerator, that's equal to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3. And it can, continues on like this all the way to 1, or we can just say n minus 3 factorial divided by 3 factorial times n minus 3 factorial. These cancel. So this binomial coefficient is the same thing as n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 divided by 3 factorial. And that's what this term is. So this is just our binomial coefficient 
n over 3. Likewise, this is going to be the binomial coefficient n over 4. So what we find when we use, when we express a plus x to the n using a power series, specifically the Taylor power series, what we find is that we kind of rediscover, or once again, we derive the binomial expansion series. Let's just write it out for a moment. Here we have a plus x to the n equals a to the n plus n times a to the n minus 1 times x and then we have plus this is n over 2 factorial or n over 2 binomial coefficient a to the n minus 2 x squared plus this binomial coefficient. Now we have a to the n minus 3 times x cubed plus continuing along now we have this binomial coefficient and that's times this a to the n minus 4 times x to the fourth and that continues along until we get this term. And notice that the coefficient on here is 1 and we can write that 1 is the same thing as this binomial coefficient. Likewise n is the same thing as this binomial coefficient just to keep things consistent and this is again the coefficient is 1 which we can write as this binomial coefficient so there it is we just rederived the binomial expansion theorem um, the reason why it's worth this exercise is that using this approach here to derive an expression for a plus x to the n is that we can use this formula to find out what happens when n is a negative number. Then it does not equal this expression as something entirely different and now we can use this expression though to figure out what kind of a expansion we're going to have, what kind of a binomial expansion we will have when the exponent is a negative number and that's what we're going to do in the next video following this one so come back join us for that video this is an entirely different expression now so we're going to spend a little bit of time deriving it and hopefully we'll all be comfortable with it then once we have that out of the way we'll be able to turn our attention to dealing with generating functions And these here will give us some very powerful tools to handle some of the more complicated um, combination or permutation problems that we'll be addressing uh, in the future videos. Um, okay, that's it for right now. Uh, just a reminder, if you had just found us on YouTube and we keep alluding to other videos, to previous videos that we had made, if you can get to the website at digital-university.org you'll find all the combination and permutation and probability videos they're all listed there in their proper sequence um, anyway come back and join us for some more videos we'll develop some more background here then we can start to solve some more problems